Hey, I'm Sean from ARRI, and this is a video about the new universal 24 volt battery system B mount. B mount is the new universal high powered standard for onboard batteries, designed in response to the increasing power requirements for LED lighting fixtures and also for cameras. 24 volt is nothing new. Most 35mm motion picture cameras all ran on 24 volts, most block batteries in the market can run on 24 volts, and every ARRI digital cinema camera has always been able to run on 24 volts as well. As we have increased the quality of our cameras, increasing resolution and frame rates, we've really hit the ceiling of what we can do with the standard onboard 12 volt systems that are already on the market. A great example of this is the Alexa LF. The LF can shoot in 4.5K ARRI RAW uncompressed at 150 frames a second, but it can only work at 24 volts, whereas the Alexa Mini, while it's in a smaller package, can shoot on 12 volts, but not at those frame rates. So, in order to have the best possible image quality within our cameras, and in order to have higher powered and more portable LED lighting, we need to change the standard for onboard batteries. 24 volts is a lot more efficient than 12 volts. You can have much more electricity going through the same thickness of cable as you can with 12 volts that generates less heat and you have less voltage drop over longer distances. It's a bit of a no-brainer. The only problem is that we don't really have a dominant 24 volt system on the market today and that's what B-mount sets out to change. The new camera that's coming this year from ARRI will be a B-mount native camera. It will be a 24 volt camera and that's because within that camera we have really exciting image quality improvements that we just need more power for. As we have increased demands for resolution, for color bit depth, for frame rate, all these things require more processing which requires more power and so we've made the decision to change to 24 volt as the standard across ARRI appliances and certainly B-mount will be the foundation of that. B-mount is not a proprietary battery mount. This is not some situation where ARRI has come out and said you have to use only our batteries with only our cameras. We want this to be as open as possible. Bebob and ARRI have collaborated on the mechanical and electronic design of the new B-mount standard and we're making it available to any manufacturer who wants to incorporate B-mount within their products. It could be batteries, but it could be cameras or lighting that also would like to support the new high power 24 and 12 volt standard that is B-mount. The other nice thing with having an open standard that is owned and controlled by a couple of companies like ours is that there are one set of specifications. For the existing 12 volt systems on the market, they were made really 50 years or longer ago and it's very difficult, if not impossible, to get a unified standard for data and also for mechanics, which is why on, say, v -lock, sometimes you might have some batteries that don't work so well on some plates because the tolerances are different and people are trying to backwards engineer exactly the design of the mechanics. Not the case with B-mount. We have the, the specifications and we're happy to give it to anyone who'd like to incorporate B-mount into their products. B-mount is a really rock-solid mounting interface. It's a side-loading battery. So, like gold mount, it mounts from the side instead of the top. As you can see, there's a really nice resounding click when I do that, and I can move the whole package here, and there is no shaking or wobbling within the battery mount. This battery mount has been designed to be operated with because we know so many camera operators like being really nice in tight and close with their cameras, feeling like they're you know, part of the image and moving around and they operate by holding onto the battery. So that was a key design consideration when Bebob and Ari were working on the mechanics for the B-mount. Side loading is great as well. Usually now we see people run a Hollywood handle, check out the ARRI hex set, or maybe they have a transmitter off the back of the handle, and often at times there isn't a lot of room here, just above the battery. So if you're running a system like V-Lock, you may be cumbersome to get the batteries off sometimes. So side loading means that you just come out the side, which is much easier, I think. You'll notice as well that the plate here is actually really small. This plate has been designed to be the same size as a standard gold mount or V-mount plate, but actually the mounting interface is this tiny little U-shaped section here, which means that you can run B-mount batteries on smaller devices than you can with V-mount or gold mount. Now, you'll also notice that there is no button here, and that's because the mechanics live inside the battery for the release. This means that when you don't have a battery on a camera, say you uh, have a camera with a long zoom in a gimbal, you need to be able to pull the camera package 
all the way back to the back of the gimbal and by removing the button or putting the button inside the batteries it means that the distance or the thickness of the battery plate can be thinner and you can move the whole camera package back. Similarly if you were shooting a car interior and you wanted the camera to be right backed into the windscreen or well, you can now get it closer because you don't have that bulky you know extra 10 millimeters that you would have with another battery plate. Not only does B-mount support 24 volt power, which we will need for new devices, but it also supports 12 volts. Not every battery will be by voltage, but a lot of them on the market, and certainly most of the ones that I have here, can supply either 12 or 24 volts. Now the way that that works is the plate you have on your camera or on your light, or on any other device, will tell the battery what voltage to supply. So if you have a device, maybe like a monitor, that only runs in 12 volt, well you would just put a 12 volt B-mount plate on it. You put the battery on, the battery supplies 12 volts, powers the device absolutely like it should. If you have a 24 volt camera or light and you put a 24 volt plate on that, well then the battery will supply 24 volts. There's a little chip inside the plate that tells the battery what voltage to supply and it cannot give it the wrong one. There will be batteries on the market which only support 24 volts and if you put one of those on a 12 volt plate, it just won't provide any power. It's a really smart system. And there are a lot of other smart things with the batteries as well. The way that we're handling data and management and cell life expectation and run times and cycles is really new and revolutionary and also part of the protocol. So it means that whatever battery you have, if that manufacturer has chosen to support the data side of the B-mount system, then any device will be able to read it as well. One example for that might be that you can stack B-mount batteries. If the batteries are designed to be hot swap, which there certainly will be ones coming out this year, you can have up to three batteries stacked on each other and say the camera can see what the percentage is very accurately for each of the three individual batteries that are connected to it. It might also be able to show how many times the battery has been charged or if there might be a problem with one of the cells and it should be addressed in service. There is a lot of data and analytics with Beamout which will, I think, especially for rental houses, make this a really viable opportunity to make sure that the quality of the batteries that they have is really up to par and what camera crews expect. We're expecting there to be a really wide variety of the different ways that manufacturers will choose to incorporate the B-mount standard into their battery designs. We're going to see big batteries and small batteries, hot swap piggyback batteries, we're going to see flight safe batteries and all of these batteries have different ways to power accessories. There's really still a lot of innovation available in the marketplace, it's just that all of these batteries will supply 24 volt power and all of them do it with the same mechanical mounting interface which will hopefully make this a really universal standard for the industry. As we know, film production lighting is getting smarter and more power efficient. Big HMIs and tungsten sources are being replaced all across the world by LED lights. And LED luminaires use a lot less power, which means that we can run them on onboard batteries. B-mount is perfect for this. The 24 volt power delivery and much higher amperage possible with the B-mount standard means that you can do a lot more with a lot less. For example, I can run this SkyPanel S60 at half power with just one onboard battery. And then, if I like, I can run over here and put it straight on my camera. Now, previously, we could run sky panels on battery power, but you would have to use a larger plate, something like this, which was the dual V-lock or gold mount plate for a sky panel, but now we only need one battery. And while I'm not advocating that camera department steal batteries from lighting department, if you're a rental house, it means you can now have one standard of high-powered B-mount batteries which work across all your devices, both 12 and 24 volts, cameras and lights. In the future, we're also going to come out with an adapter which allows you to put two B-mount batteries together in series on a sky panel or on an orbiter to run that fixture at full power 48 volts. That's going to really open the door to really small and compact power delivery systems for LED luminaires and it's exciting to think where this is going to take us where you can be really remote but still using the full power of your lighting on set. As of today, in January 2022, many manufacturers already have B-mount plates, chargers and batteries available for purchase. We're expecting nearly all of the major players to have solutions for B-mount available by the end of the year. ARRI have plates available for SkyPanel, as you can see here, as well as all of our camera models. We are making a clear commitment to make B-mount the standard battery mount for ARRI products from now into the future. There will of course be plates available for third-party cameras. Here's what B-mount looks like on the Sony Venice. And we're really encouraging anyone who is a manufacturer of any device in the cinema industry to be a part of the B-mount standard so that we can really make this new standard a universal one. 
There are so many advantages to Beamount that we really hope it takes off and we're looking forward to the new features that we can bring out because of this extra amount of power delivery available. If you'd like any more information about the new B-mount 24 volt universal rugged amazing battery standard then please head over to ARRI.com where we have a dedicated B-mount web page with a lot of technical information. If you're a manufacturer all of our contact information is at the ARRI.com website and we'd love to hear from you about being a part of this B-mount standard. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. My name's Sean. We'll see you in the next one.